Strontium is a group 2 element, which means that it's, it's pretty reactive, but not as reactive as alkali metals. So, what am I talking about? Well, in the leftmost column of the periodic table, you have the alkali metals, and they are really reactive. They include sodium and potassium and rubidium. And then the group two element, the group two elements are less reactive because they're further to the right of the on the periodic table, and electronegativities go up. Um, but they're still pretty reactive. And as you go down on that column, of course, the electronegativities go down further, so they get even more reactive. So strontium, which is pretty far down on this group, the first one was beryllium, which didn't react with water. Then um, after that came magnesium, which barely reacted with water. Then calcium which reacted with water, but still very small, net, small reaction. Then we're at strontium, and strontium should, at least in theory, according to its electronegativity, react quite vigorously with water. Not vigorously enough to ignite the hydrogen that's created, but still quite vigorously. And unlike rubidium, which is extremely expensive, and actually doesn't make such a nice, such a huge reaction, just makes a kind of a pop, Strontium is much cheaper, and it actually has a kind of a, a, a sustained reaction that's really cool. So I thought I'd get it, and I did get it, and I'm going to uh, go throw it in some water now. Okie dokie. Here is the strontium metal, and now I'm going to put it into water. And you can immediately see that unlike the calcium, bubbles are being generated it's bubbling around it's going back and forth and the reason it's bubbling so crazily unlike the calcium is because it is in the same column as calcium but it is one below calcium so its electronegativity is, is lower so therefore it's more reactive so it's reacting and forming strontium, di uh, strontium hydroxide with the water. So now this water has some strontium hydroxide in it. So there you go. That's strontium with water. Okay, so if I just took a pH strip like this and put it into water, nothing would happen because water is fairly neutral. Now. Because a hydrox hydroxides are basic, I'm going to see if, if the strontium really reacted. Of course, it did, because we saw that. But now I'm going to do another test to see if it reacted. So if this turns purple, it did react. There you go. So it for sure reacted, and now this water is actually a solution of strontium hydroxide.